I think football is such a great game because it teaches you about life, really. It's not easy, and you're going to get knocked down, and you know, it's how you get back up. I love coaching because you get to meet all these different individuals every day. You know, everybody's got stuff going on in their lives, and it's, it's not always easy for everybody. I just think it's important to get to know not only the player, but the man. He's a Staten Island type of guy. I would say it's like a big brother, uncle type of vibe as to where, you know, we can talk to him about anything. We trust him to have our back, and we trust that we can go to talk to him about whatever. And it's proven, you know, we can, any type of problems we're having, we can talk to him, adjustments. He's always open to us, and he's always receptive. He walks around the whole practice, he checks on each position group. It means a lot to you as a player where you're not just getting talked at and you're getting talked to a lot as a person. It makes you feel valued and you know you want to run through a wall for that person. I've always had a ton of respect for Lou and, and appreciated what he brings to the table. He tells them what they need to hear, loves them up, has fun with them, and so there, there's both sides of the coin there. And again, that's that's what's needed to be a defensive coordinator in this league. On the cutoff box, right? Screens, Get on the okay. right. screens now, be alert. Feel that center leave and go. Him and the staff do a great job working so hard on the sideline, talking to the guys about what they see, what's going on during this game, what do we need to change? And then we go in there and we really adjust it. He's truly a player's coach. Really just trying to stay on the details of everything and making sure that the guys are that way. At the end of the day, making sure they understand what the philosophy is behind what we're calling, why we're calling it, and what they're being asked to do and why they're being asked to do it. When they know the broader picture and the broader scheme of things, we're all able to function at a higher level. Being able to relate with players and for us to understand why we're calling certain calls in certain situations. Understanding the whole scheme of the defense, not just what your job is, is I think is something that's very key to what we do. Hey, keep grinding one play at a time and win the f***ing game. This guy wants to throw it to us. Let's go. I think if anybody is first time going to see us, you come away with a group of guys that are going to play passionately. They're going to play really, really hard. Single mindset, a collective effort. You know, everything is about playing good team defense and everybody understanding their role. Who does a great job playing to these guys' strengths so we can get the most out of them. And there's just so much veteran leadership. That football IQ in that room is so high amongst all those guys. They feed off each other. The chemistry is through the roof. I've never been a part of a team where I didn't hear one guy complain once about what's going on on the other side of the ball. We just gotta go out there wherever the ball is spotted and play defense. When that play comes to them, they're gonna make the play. So I mean, you got a bunch of leaders on the team, guys who are about the right stuff, and still got that dog mentality. It's huge, you know, it, it bonds you together a lot. We know we can always lean on them to make a play with a big turnover or just to keep points off the board. Lou and that whole staff do a great job of, of just coming through the game plan and, and making the decisions that we need to make at halftime to be able to calm the other team's offense down a little bit. And our guys always rise up to the challenge. Seven consecutive games with no touchdowns allowed in the second half. Woo! Only three teams since 1970 have ever pulled that off. That's unbelievable. Game ball to the entire defense. <laughs> Having a really good relationship with Lou and understanding what he's about, who he's about, and what we want to be as a defense is why we've had some success here. I'm proud of the way that uh, they are playing right now. And you know, it's about us. We always talk about that. It's about how we take a collective approach to it. And they understand their roles, and everybody does a good job handling it. Do you feel empowered as a player when you play for Lou? And that's what you want as a person who goes out there and does this as my job, as my profession. Somebody who empowers me that way, who gives me the keys. In any workspace, I think that would be a big thing. And, and I'm just blessed to be able to play for a guy like that. He's really been able to get the most out of those guys. They, they buy into and believe every position they're being put into. He sets the expectation for them and helps them reach that expectation and that level of their potential. So I think that's one of the critical parts of being a coach is making sure you get the most out of your guys and they appreciate him for that. There's respect on both sides. There's faith and trust in both sides, from me to the players, to the assistant coaches, to the players. And I got a ton of confidence in what we do and how we coach and what we're teaching these guys. It's just the type of guys we have, and I'm super proud.